iTech products are sensitive to change and often disruptive, and that's why we need a different marketing approach as opposed to traditional products. We can group our customers into five different segments based on their acceptance of new technologies. We call this the technology adaption life cycle. Every high-tech product must go through each of these phases. Our first segment contains the nerds, the geeks, and basically everyone fascinated by new technology. These people often buy a disruptive, high-tech product simply to explore its technological properties and are not interested in market success. The visionaries are the people who seek to be pioneers of technology. In contrast to the techies, they strive to achieve a competitive advantage. The benefits of new technology is what drives the visionaries. The pragmatists, also called the early majority, share some of the visionaries' ability to relate to technology, but ultimately they are driven by a strong sense of practicality. They want to see well-established references before investing substantially. The conservatives, also called the late majority, share the concerns of the pragmatists, but wait until a new technology has become an established standard. Last and least, the laggards are extremely skeptic towards new technology and are generally not worth your time and money. Notice the gap between the product-oriented visionaries and the market-oriented pragmatists. This is the chasm that we have to cross for market domination. To cross the chasm, you require aggressive, strategic and tactical thinking. The strategy to fill this gap is by deploying the invasion force in one market niche and translating the target's need into the product. Then, knock over the head pin and conquer it. From there, expand to other niches. The number one rule to effectively cross the chasm is segment focus. Focus on only one market segment in order to penetrate it and reach pragmatists. You can't take Berlin if you haven't taken Normandy. But, which segment to take first? Since gathering market information is too expensive for small ventures, you should create your own market information by developing scenarios for all potential niches. Analyze the scenarios on the most compelling reason to buy, current competition, budget to meet the whole product, target's budget, and whether the market niche supports entry into other niches. Filter out the best beachhead and fully commit to it. Then, assemble the invasion force. Unlike visionaries, the pragmatists expect a lot more than just a generic product. They want a whole product, including training, support, and any other additional products and services to minimize the transition costs between the current and future situation. Of course, no company wants to stray from its core activity. We all want to focus on what we're good at. This is one reason why we must select strong partners. The other reason to pick a strong established company for our partnership is because pragmatists take these as a sign of trustworthiness. We sell that customer. We deliver the goods. What happens next? There are other customers in the same vertical market with this in the same situation. Yes. And they've all been talking to each other saying, can you solve it? Can you solve it? And they've all said, no, you know, we can't solve it. So when you get your first customer here, you've got to make them very successful. And then they will introduce you to other people in their segment saying, well, it worked for us. So the second guy is still suspicious or cautious. So you've got to make the second one work, the third one work. What you can't do is do a couple and then move on. You've got to stay in that market until enough customers say, look, this is the way to solve the problem, at which point all the rest of the customers in that market come to you voluntarily. Got and it. your cost of sales goes to zero. Wow. And your negotiating power goes to the moon. Absolutely. I mean, it's really, really a wonderful thing. Now we got our whole product set up, we can focus on positioning our product on the market. The most important part of this process is creating the competition. The fundamental rule of engagement is that any force can defeat any other force, if it can define the battle. We will set the competitive criteria for winning based on our product's strongest points. There are four domains of value in high-tech marketing. Technology, product, market and company. To cross the chasm we have to shift our marketing focus from product-centric to market-centric. This means we're looking for two types of competitors. First, we'll need a product alternative that is similar to our own. We will acknowledge our technology but differentiate from them by virtue of our own niche market focus. The other type is the market alternative. This will be a company that the target customer has been buying from for years. Our product will address a problematic limitation in their offer. The burden of proof also shifts when we are trying to cross the chasm. To the visionaries, we have to prove that our product was the best option for the strategic advantage to try and achieve. The pragmatists, however, want proof that our project has great support and can be used without any risk for their business. 
we will need to prove to them that we are, in fact, the best solution on the market. It's vital for anyone selling a disruptive product to acknowledge that a shift of focus is necessary when targeting the mass market. When you stick to all the principles we taught you in this video, you will have the skills to successfully cross the chasm.